We see lots of patients presenting to the emergency department with hyperglycemia, and in patients with insulin-dependent diabetes, it's really tempting to just get a urine, dip it, and if there are no ketones, there's no DKA, and there's no blood work needed. We are on day two of DKA tips. Today we're talking about ketones, and we have to remember that the urine dip can mislead us. The body generates three types of ketones, acetoacetate, acetone, and beta-hydroxybutyrate. The urine dip only checks for acetoacetate, and that's an issue because early in DKA, beta-hydroxybutyrate is the dominant ketone, and there may be no acetoacetate in the urine. As a result, early in DKA, the urine dip isn't sensitive. It's going to miss cases of DKA. That means that if we're worried about diabetic ketoacidosis, you're gonna to have to get a chemistry or a blood gas to look at the bicarb and the pH, and ideally, we'd also get a serum beta-hydroxybutyrate level looking for ketones. The key thing to take home here is that the urine dip is gonna be insensitive early in DKA presentations because it only looks for acetoacetate and it's gonna miss the beta-hydroxybutyrate that's already being produced.